What a phenomenal promise that we have in John chapter 14 that Jesus has given. He is now telling his disciples, he said, I'm, he's telling them, I'm about to die. I'm about to go to where you cannot go. I'm going to die. They're going to crucify me and I'm going to go be with the father and you can't go there yet. And he's trying to give them comfort. And as he's trying to give them comfort, he says in John chapter 14 and verse one, he said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Now see, understand something. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, now also believe in me. So what Jesus was saying to them, to these young Jewish men, to these Jewish men that have believed in God, they believed in the Father all of their lives. Ever since they were little bitty children, they have believed in the Father as these young Jewish boys. He said, in the same way that you have believed in the Father, yet you've never seen him, you've never heard him, you've never wrapped your arms around him and embraced him, you've never sat down and dined with him him, but yet you believed in him, even though you've never seen him. And he said in the same way, now you're going to have to believe in me. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Now we understand that Jesus is God. He's God that has taken upon the flesh. He is the son of God. And so as we look at this and we begin to understand, he said, I'm going to go to a place where you cannot yet come he said, I'm going to go prepare this mansion for you. And later on, when the time comes, I'm going to come and receive you unto myself that where I am there, you may be also. And so Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going. In verse five, he said, Lord, we do not know where you're going. And we don't know the way. We, we don't know how to get there. We don't know how to get to where you are. Jesus just told him, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. So how do we get there? By believing in Jesus and only by believing in Jesus, because then Jesus said in verse six, I believe one of the most fundamentally important verses in all of the Bible. He says in verse six, Jesus said to them, I am the way, the truth and the life and no one comes to the father, but by me. I am the way. I am the way. There's no other way. There's no other way than Jesus. Jesus is the only one who died for our sins. Jesus is the only one who buried those sins and he rose up on the third day as the first fruit of the resurrection, defeating death, defeating the grave, and putting every enemy as a footstool under his feet. Only Jesus did that. Nobody else did that. Nobody else could do that. Only Jesus was qualified to do that. Only Jesus fulfilled all righteousness for us. And if Jesus isn't the way, then he's not any way because he made a very bold statement right here. And he said, I'm the only way. No one comes to the Father but by me. So either he's telling the truth or he's a liar. Either we believe him or we don't believe him. He's either the way or he's no way at all. Now I choose to believe he's the way, the only way. And there's no other way because Jesus paid the price. Jesus was equipped to pay the price. Jesus the virgin born son of God, the one who knew no sin, yet he became sin for you and for me. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. You've never seen the father. You've never seen Jesus. Never seen him. You've never laid your eyes upon him. Now he can manifest himself if he so chooses. I've never seen Jesus. I've never physically seen Jesus. I've never audibly heard his voice, but you know what? I believe him. I believe he's real. I believe he's in me. I believe he's with me everywhere I go because his word promises that. Never seen him. He said, Lo, I'll be with you always, even to the end of, end of the age, but I've never physically seen him. But friends, the righteous shall walk by faith, by faith and not by sight. I believe that when I asked Jesus to forgive me of my sins, he did. I believe that when I asked him to be the Lord of my life, he became the Lord of my life. I believed in faith. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. 
believe also in me. When you believe in Jesus, your heart has no reason to be troubled because he is the way. He is the truth and he is the life and no man comes to the father but by him. But the good news is he prepared the way to the father for those who put their faith and their trust and believe on him. That's good news. That's wonderful news. That's the best of best news right there. So share this news with others. Share this video so that they can hear, so that they can believe, and so that they can receive. What time is it? It's time to share the good news.